morning to everybody. Welcome back to Favaloro Foundation University Hospital. My name is uh, Dr. Oscar Mendes. On my right side, Franco, our fellow, Dr. Lev, uh, Kevin, as, uh, our uh, imaging technique, Matias, the nurse, uh, Andres Rodriguez, our imaging and uh, moderator from behind, our uh, anesthesiology, Dr. Jaime, and uh, uh, Adriana. Uh, <laughs> Uh, is also with us and behind, uh, I think it's Hernan and, and, and Gustavo, our technicians. So we have prepared, I think, an interesting case uh, for today. The first slide, I will uh, uh, present the case. And then, primera diapositiva, okay, perfect, next. So, non, okay, perfect. This is a 72, next. Here it's okay. This is a 72 years old male. Uh, he presented with angina and uh, two episodes of uh, almost a syncope. He, he has a history of hypertension, dyslipidemia, smoker, type 2 diabetes, and also hypothyroidism. He presented uh, two, two months ago with a paroxysmal episode of AEF, uh, which was medically treated, was reverted, and now he is under normal sinus rhythm. He was uh, treated with anticoagulation and amiodarone uh, from uh, this uh, episode. Next. Uh, his, uh, uh, on his complementary test, the AKG is uh, quite normal. We will see afterwards. The blood test is also normal with normal uh, uh, renal function, despite of uh, his diabetes. His body mass index is almost normal, uh, and, and the echo evaluation show the preserved left ventricular ejection fraction with the 55, with some kind of uh, left ventricular hypertrophy. And according to uh, his uh, clinical presentation, a CT scan was uh, indicated in the center where he uh, is treated, where he actually lived. Actually, he is almost a friend because he's a close friend of a close uh, friend of mine. And this is important because we have a very clear discussion of uh, what uh, is uh, indicated, what is uh, going to be the first offering for him. So Dr. Ganun, who is a specialist on imaging here and also in the in Sanatorio Junín, this center in the center in a province of Argentina in Catamarca, did the CT scan. Next. <clears throat> so uh, probably Dr. Ganun can comment. It. Oh, he is not with a microphone. Can, can you put the microphone to Dr. Ganun, please? Perhaps you can take a mine. One second, please. So uh, this is uh, the 3D reconstruction where we can see a significant calcification on the left main and also on the LAD, the right coronary artery is small. And now Guillermo, you can continue. High calcification. Will you confirm uh, you are hearing him very well? Okay. Uh, and after uh, we can see uh, all um, the lumen is uh, occupied with the, uh, the calcium. Okay, so significant uh, calcification everywhere, especially on the left main. The left is main. that okay. correct? Next. With the severe narrow stenosis. We will see be better in the next one. Next. Proxima. <coughs> Here. So this is the, okay. this is the right coronary artery. It's a cure, okay, a cure a reconstruction of the... Um, uh, right coronary, uh, we can see the um, calcium, uh, but uh, no uh, um, significant significant uh, uh, stenosis. Uh, the, the next. So, is there, you also can uh, say that this is uh, not a big artery. Is that correct? We will see then in on the angio, but this is not a dominant. Uh, uh, no, not dominant. Artery. Okay. That's perfect. Yes. Next. Right, correct. So this is the left main. Left main and curve reconstruction. We can see and the top right, uh, top left uh, the uh, art, uh, the descend, uh, descend, uh, descendant artery with the high calcification and uh, we can see in um, proximal and uh, segment, uh, medium segment um, uh, a plaque with a high component of uh, rich li lipid uh, core and uh, a severe stenosis 
and proximal and uh, in this uh, second uh, middle uh, segment of the of okay <laughs> so here, when uh, Dr. Ganun asked me, because I was there when this CT scan was performed, and we observed there, we were quite sure that he had a significant lesion on the, on the left main, uh, compromising probably the ostium and, and the shaft, but not the bifurcation. Here we can observe perfectly that there is not significant calcification on, on the ostiums. But uh, yes, as Dr. Ganun described, there's a rich lipid plaque on the middle segment of the LAD and also significant calcification there. Okay. Next. Here is a better observation of the LAD, the LAD. and on yeah. the left vein. Could you estimate that this uh, calcification and this lesion are severe by CT scan? Uh, yeah, you can see that the, the calcification may be uh, is, uh, um, Sometimes very difficult to uh, um, estimate the uh, grade of stenosis because the blooming artifact, uh, okay. which calcium uh, made. So this, digamos, uh, uh, in this case, uh, the high grade of calcification in the uh, concentric uh, shape of the, the plague as the plaque uh, uh, made the, uh, the uh, uh, estimation of the severity. Okay, so uh, heavily calcified uh, lesions are in a way a limitation for estimation of severity. Uh, this okay. is something that we have okay. to, uh, I mean, uh, pay attention and to interpret the studies very carefully that sometimes we yeah. have kind of uh, I mean, uh, yeah. uh, it's uh, heavily sensitive, but not uh, heavily specific. or high, uh, high sensitivity, specific. specificity, excuse me, specific. for uh, uh, severe lesions. Next. So this is uh, on the next uh, slide. Here we have the CERC. I think it's almost the, uh, the same. Yeah. We can observe here the calcification on the left main, rigid plaque on the CERC of this uh, marginal branch. We also discussed about this uh, marginal severity. branch, about the severity. Uh, for Dr. Ganun was a kind of intermediate lesion, and here in a geography, I will show you afterwards, uh, it's almost the same. It's an intermediate lesion that we can decide uh, at the end of the procedure what to do with this, with this lesion. Next. So thank you, Shermo, for sharing your knowledge and for helping us to, uh, with these uh, studies. So this is the ancho that we did in this center. The right coronary artery, as uh, Dr. Ganun predicted, is not dominant, not significant lesion, except for this uh, mild lesion in the ostium with some calcium. And then on, on the right of the panel, we can observe, I, think, uh, I could say, uh, moderate stenosis. Kind of... Uh, positive remodeling of something like this in both LAD and left circle ostium. Next. Here we can observe uh, much better what uh, Dr. Ganun uh, find, find it on the on the CT scan, which is this uh, quite heavy calcification on the roof of the left main with a significant stenosis. And then we got, can also observe calcification of the proximal and middle segment of the LAD involving this bifurcation with this, I would say, small diagonal branch. Uh, probably only uh, ostium and shaft uh, significant lesion, but not, bif not uh, involving the, the, the bifurcation, so it's a totally different for the clinical and also the therapeutic approach. And the more significant lesion, as Dr. Ganun described, is uh, on, on the proximal segment of the LED before the bifurcation, where there's a combination of calcium and uh, uh, lipid-rich uh, plaque. So next. Uh, the, uh, at the end, in summary, it's uh, quite a young male with significant risk factor with the severe coronary artery disease, heavily calcified left main and LAD lesions. 
So we have a discussion with surgeons and with the patient, as I told before, he is a very uh, uh, honest discussion. Uh, we uh, suggested for him surgery would, have, would be probably the best option because he suffered from a left main lesion, a very long lesion on the LAD calcified with a mild lesion or moderate lesion on this uh, significant uh, OM. Uh, without a significant right coronary artery. So probably it's a, a, a surgical, surgery would be according with the guidelines and the first uh, option to be considered in this patient. However, uh, he refused and he asked us about the, in a way, a possibility of uh, treating him with PCI. Uh, we told him about this uh, clinical outcome that we, uh, we know in advance next. We have the syntax score, Proxima. So, uh, sorry, we decided to offer him uh, to do PCI to the left main and to the LAD in, uh, as a first option. And then to consider, as I told you before, what to do with this uh, marginal branch. I decided uh, as a mandatory for this procedure, and we also consider the use of some kind of plaque preparation in this case for the left main that we consider is gonna be probably four or probably bigger. It's not probably a good indication for Rotablator or, or Rotapro or whatever device we are using. So that's why we suggested to, to modify this plaque uh, with the, uh, intravascular lithotripsy. And then our plan is to provision a stent for left main, trying to cover only the ostium and the shaft. And after to treat the left main, we will deal with the LAD and diagonal bifurcation is something that we discussed with Dr. Lev. What to do first, in my opinion, is uh, the left main to work a little bit more uh, relaxed and not uh, producing ischemia in this uh, patient. Next. So that's uh, what I was uh, talking about. The, according to syntax score is uh, intermediate, but in, in the higher uh, tercile of the intermediate is 28. In this patient, maces are a little bit higher in consideration in comparison with surgery, next. And also with the syntax two. And anyway, surgery also has a significant incidence at four year follow-up of uh, maze, next. But according to the uh, United Kingdom uh, Cardiovascular Intervention Society using this CHIP score, in these patients, according to patient factors and procedural factors, the only factors that we have to consider here is that he has a left, uh, a left main uh, lesion. Probably we can consider a three vessel PCI because it's uh, not a significant uh, dominant right. Uh, and also we are going to use aterectomy when this uh, probably score was used, uh, the only aterectomy device was a uh, rotablator. So in a way we have uh, three points according with this uh, presentation, the incidence of maize at the one year follow-up is not that high. And that's why we consider that the PCI would be an option for this uh, patient. So let's back to the lab. And I will show you what we have done so far. And then I will introduce Dr. Lev for the discussion and to comment the IWAS. So first we decided to go by femoral because the radial after this uh, first diagnostic procedure is quite small. He has a good uh, cubital artery. Uh, Dr. Lev suggested to go by the cubital. It's something that I don't like too much when we have to use a seven French sheath, like in this case, and when you don't have a good uh, radial artery. So Gustavo, maybe you can comment on that because you are quite familiar with uh, cubital yeah. axis. Well, um, um, I, I like the ulnar artery because uh, it, it, it has, uh, uh, two point of view. One, it's uh, easy to access. Uh, it's a direct artery. It has it. It, it doesn't have too much curve uh, to access to the, the aorta. And but the problem is the compression. The compression is a bit difficult. The uh, the cubital nerve is uh, behind the artery, and that could be a, a, a problem 
uh, for the patients. So um, my suggestion is uh, to access the ulnar uh, artery when it is really necessary, okay. not always. So with this regard, we decided to go by femoral. We did the echo uh, guided uh, puncture. Uh, we are all with Dr. Lev. We are mm -hmm. not uh, so, we are familiar to use a, a puncture in the femoral artery, but anyway, it's just for educational point of view, we use a ultrasound in this case. <clears throat> and, and then next, la próxima, we put uh, here a wire uh, to have a, as a protection because the other uh, issue to be discussed in this patient is if we need uh, uh, some uh, cir circulatory support. I know that probably in the state or in Europe, they would use impella. We don't have impella in Argentina. We have to use probably uh, intraortic balloon pump if it is necessary. Uh, left main is an issue for uh, uh, lithotripsy that we are going to use. So we have to be very careful about the the the, the 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 length of the of the inflation of the balloon, and we we have to see uh, how the patient tolerate the the procedure. If we have if we can do the ten uh, I mean seconds for each inflation, we have to shorten uh, this inflation if the patient uh, does not tolerate uh, so well. Yeah. Uh, next, so this is the ancho where we you see. The calcium of the left main, the significant stenosis there, significant stenosis of the LAD, and this uh, moderate, in my opinion, plug on the uh, <clears throat> to some marginalis. Next, uh, this is uh, the AP view. Once again, same findings. A lot of calcium on the left main and the, on the LAD. Next. And here is the same. Very tight stenosis on the left main. We, had, we decided to go with the seven French sheet because we thought that probably we had to use uh, big balloons that sometime for doing kissing and so on, on live especially, uh, we might have problem with the six French. And this is the reason why we are here uh, from femoral approach. Next. So we wire the two big vessel, first the LAD, next. And then the CERC uh, for doing uh, IBUS, next. So here we are. I was uh, crossed uh, very easily. Uh, we uh, are disengaged from the ostium for talking and for uh, most of the time, just trying to not to cause ischemia. So we can show the three runs of IWOS we have done, and uh, Dr. Gustavo can, uh, with the, uh, we are using the Volcano uh, Infinity System, and Dr. Gustavo can comment uh, on this IWOS runs. Yes, so thank you. One. Thank you, Oscar. We are at the distal segment of the DLAD. We can uh, see a severe stenosis at this segment, a mixed plaque between lipid, fibrous, and severe calcification, especially at the superficial and deep uh, faces of this artery. The severe stenosis extends to the middle and proximal segment of this artery. This is also the severe stenosis with uh, severe calcification. In this case, uh, it's uh, it's not underestimated because the uh, the uh, the, the, the angel because uh, it is quite similar as the CT scan, the coronary angiography, and the uh, and the yeah, intravascular yeah. ultrasound. Yeah. This is the second pullback because it stopped at the yeah. proximal segment of the LAD. This is a proximal segment with a moderate stenosis. And this is the bifurcation. Uh, we can see the severe stenosis at the left main with a severe calcification, superficial and deep. Uh, Andres Rodriguez uh, made some uh, uh, measures. Uh, we can see the, uh, the first one I would like to see the, uh, to show the LAD a uh, reference di diameter, their LED is 2.8. So I think that the uh, 2.75 extent will be suitable for this segment. Then uh, we measure the uh, minimal lumen area, 1.6. So it confirmed that. And, uh, and the left main, the left main is a a 4.5 bin, 
and uh, with a severe stenosis. Okay. Uh, finally, sorry, uh, the circumflex artery, the pullback of the uh, circumflex artery confirmed that it has a moderate stenosis at the osteal segment. That was a mild. Mild. Yeah. More mild. Mild stenosis with also uh, superficial severe calcification. Wait a minute. That's all. So thank you, Gustavo. So we have to speed up because uh, we are running uh, a little bit late. So we have two wires when we are uh, live. Well, we, also in our regular cases, we make a bend for the secondary wire. So we, you don't have to put anything else because it's a tactile sensation. Which wire are you uh, using in this moment? We have here the connection with the shockwave uh, device. Here is the, the, the console. Maybe the camera can turn to the right and show, which is below the monitors. Uh, if you rotate Working from on. here to there, you can show the, the, the console. Uh, and this is the balloon. So this is the 3.5 balloon. Probably we can also discuss about the size of this balloon. Some people would use probably calcium. And also just not to damage in anything uh, too deep and to produce to produce digital dissections. This is 3.5 by, uh, by 12 as all the balloons. Remember, yeah. So I will put here and then I will do a little bit anxio to check and uh, I will uh, let, uh, sorry, here we are, the guiding is out, test Gustavo, but the, we are here, we are from the ostium. Yeah, so uh, we will inflate to four, pay attention Jaime and uh, Matthias is going to push the source of uh, generating the energy. And when we saw inflate to four, I will start uh, the uh, light little tripsy. So 10 seconds. So here we have good tolerance. As you can observe, some uh, interference in the monitor with the EKG. Six, deflate. Okay, so after four, we inflate to six. We would allow the patient to recover. So the blood pressure is okay. Everything is okay. He's tolerating uh, the procedure so far. I will ask uh, Dr. Jaime to keep the blood pressure okay. So we will take all the, the gas out. No, no, inflate here, no, no. out, uh, up, up, up to, to put the gas out because okay. it's important not to have bubbles inside the device. Aspirate. Okay. Remember this uh, energy source uh, produces spark inside the balloon, which is full with the 50-50 fluid of uh, contrast and saline. And this spark induces uh, the production of a huge bubble, which then explodes, producing micro bubbles, generating a high pressure uh, sonic waves, which uh, produce the, I mean, the cracking of the superficial and also the deep calcium. And this is, uh, I, I, I think, the, the most important uh, tool to do these uh, big vessels uh, with this uh, device, because if you are using rotablator, for example, for, uh, you can uh, uh, produce some damage of the calcium, but only on the, on the surface, but in, not in the deepest part, especially in this, uh, I mean, uh, a big plaque with a, a significant depth of calcium going to the to the to the adventitia, as uh, Dr. Ganun sh showed to us uh, with the CT. Probably CT is also important for uh, I mean, not only for the diagnosis but also uh, to I mean uh, give a proper indication of how the procedure should be done. And it is uh, deflated with some. There are some bubbles there. No, 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 leave it that, like this because if you know, we are not going to, okay. to end up if again. So no bubbles there is important. Now it's okay. So I, I'm gonna induce again lithotripsy for 10 seconds. Then Gustavo is gonna inflate to six atmospheres. Now. Now, 
and then deflate. When the patient is gonna recover again, he is diabetic. That's why I'm not trying to use uh, to, uh, too much contrast uh, for the procedure. There is also a significant issue to be considered in this patient is uh, we discussed with Dr. Lev about which uh, lesions to be treated first. In my opinion, it was the left main. Uh, at the end, we agreed on that. So with the aim of not producing too much ischemia and to have a better tolerated procedure. But we have a limitation because after we finish with the left main, we have to deal with the, with the LAD. And here in Argentina, when you have authorization for doing a, a IVL, you only have the chance to use one balloon. So what I mean is we are not having the chance to do uh, intravascular lithotrip C for the uh, LAD uh, lesion. So what the, we are going to do in this case is to use high pressure balloon, probably scoring or cutting balloon or something like this to modify this calcium. And then we will try to finish if it's not possibly six. Uh, uh, if it is not possibly, we will have to use a rotablator or something like this to modify, oh, sorry, <clears throat> to modify the plaque. So we have to reposition in the wire. This is the CERC. It's very easy to recognize which is the wire. Another problem okay. in this patient, in this high risk ischemic patient, is when we decide to use rotablator, uh, there could be some uh, embolization in the debris, and that will be wonderful for, for, for this kind of patient. Yeah, no reflow. It's uh, also, I mean, uh, probably in this patient where we have to ablate a very long lesion. Mm -hmm. And in all reflow in, on the LAD in this patient would be probably catastrophic complication. That's another reason for not using. And uh, I, I didn't have problem to cross with the IVO, so I, didn't ex I don't expect any problem to cross with the balloon. So I think we will be able to do it for with a, re with a conventional uh, PCI and balloon. So we have done six. so far 40, six. now six, and now deflate. Okay. Another point that non-compliant balloon in, in this section could be also very dangerous because a rupture with a dissection or perforation could be very... Mm -hmm. We can do some nitro dangerous. because we have some spasm on the LAD. It's something uh, frequent when you are uh, doing uh, lithotripsy. So I will engage with the guiding. I will do nitro there. Pay uh, attention to the blood pressure, high mm -hmm. So some nitro, I will disengage, wait for minutes. It's something that you have to be patient. So I know, I know that it's a live transmission, but we don't want to rush because something could be uh, wrong. Do you think that 3.5 will be? Uh, I uh, think it's going to be enough. Enough for this uh, patient? Or do you I need cannot, it for? I cannot be sure. So we don't have any other tool to modify this plaque beyond the 3.5 because actually the the cutting balloon, the bigger cutting balloon we have here in Argentina is, I think is 3.5 or something like this. I think here in the lab is not bigger than this. So if we don't modify this plaque uh, with a, with a lithotripsy, we might go and to produce one inflation with the cutting with the biggest we have. Let's go with a, another 10 poles. Fortunately, Six. he is tolerating very well. 36, okay. Yes. Displayed. Which is, ¿cuál es el, el cutting más grande que tenemos? Okay, I think we can use also 3.5. Let's <clears throat> recover the patient first. And then we will do another pulse. 
Then we can do an IBUS of the left main to see the plaque modification if we have some cracking of the calcium. And, and there, and then we can decide if we uh, use uh, complementary uh, cutting balloon. It's not going to be like rotatripsy, which is used for small vessels. Here, I think it's not uh, useful, or it's going to be a cut, cutting tripsy. No, so it's a new word. Yeah. Okay. So we have 120 the blood pressure. We are going for the last 30 pearls. We are trying to use all to have as much outcome as we can. Okay, four. four. Let's go again. Six. Six. Okay. Deflate. We still have 20. Waiting. We'll recover the patient. We can use this balloon up to 80 pulse. Yes. Isn't it? Yes. Each balloon has 80 pulse uh, for being used. Mm -hmm. When you have two different lesions with the quite similar size, you can I mean, split the, how many pulse. Are you going to use for each lesion if you want to use just one balloon? Probably some colleagues here in on Main Street can use it more than once. It's not the situation here, where still lithotripsy is not well accepted by health insurance. Uh, hopefully in the near future, yes, for. Or for again, and let's go. Six. No, 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 wait, wait, wait until I told you. Okay. Now six. And now deflate. Inflation from four to six when uh, the lithotripsy is off. Let me check what we have here. Not too much opening, I would say. Anyway, we will do IBUS. Let's wait for patient go up 100 as a systolic blood pressure. Please, Jaime. So he has the 95 here. We can wait a little bit. And probably we can do our last inflation with this balloon, and then we will start moving fast. I was, and then uh, pre-dilatation if it is necessary, a stent implantation, and so on. So we have a case, it's a quite similar case, uh, with the aortic stenosis. We did uh, as an emergency procedure last week that probably will show you in future cases when we do TAVI. This is, it was a Wide a tight lesion on the left main with heavily calcified lesion six. six. And that's it. We are done. Okay. Um, and patient tolerated also very well despite his uh, aortic stenosis and left main lesion. We haven't used uh, any kind of uh, ventricular support like here. And we got a very nice uh, outcome. Fortunately, we can show you in future uh, live cases. So let's go with the IBUS. Maybe we can do some nitro. Now that Dr. Jaime gave some norepinephrine or something like this to correct the blood pressure. IBUS is here. So with this tactile sensation, uh, sensation I, I know that I was catch the left circumflex wire. Now I am on the LED wire. So I think that once again, the, the, the CT scan done, I think it was very important for planning the, yeah, leave it right there, for planning this uh, procedure. Let's go with the, Pull back. IUS. Okay, great. I will pull a little bit just to go to the left main, which is the, yeah. the 
the intention. This is the ostium, which is perfect. And here we have plug modification, but not, not so much. It's not, not that much. easy to see. Let me see on manual view. Let's go live again. Let me introduce the catheter a little bit. And there we can observe some kind of uh, Fracture. calcium fractures. Yes. Or cracking there mm -hmm. on six and they are on one and 11. So the lumen is okay. So I think we can use uh, high pressure inflation with a okay. 3.5 uh, cutting balloon. Okay. So to fracture this a little bit more. So to speed up, I will do predilatation with the cutting and then I will implant uh, the stent, the four point, the left main was 4.5. So probably I will use 4.4 4, uh, by 12, and then we can do kissing. And then if we have a 4.5 balloon, we can do um, pot for finishing. And then we will do IBUS to be sure that everything is okay. And then we will deal with the LED. We only have 20 minutes for uh, for that. We will try to be on time. So, prepare the stand. Four zero two. Okay. Anyway, the second case is a tower case that we usually perform in less than an hour in the normal days. So we can consume some minutes from the second case. Let's go, Gustavo. 12, 16, okay, 18, deflate, it's okay. So this is a cutting tripsy procedure, as I told you. Being disengaged is uh, something that I pay attention in each kind of maneuvers. I think we still have a left main compression. Let's go with the stand and then we uh, post dilate. We have some spasm to observe on the circ and also on the LAD. Okay. See. Sí. Sí, pasame cuatro, four point five for post dilatation. We will check on spider view and then the spider. <laughs> where we are here. Twelve is the shortest. Then I have on this size. This is why I'm chosen twelve. I think the distal. Position is uh, quite okay. Let's go to the cranial view. Are you, are you going to take out the, the circumflex wire? No, no, no. I will leave it uh, there. I think a little bit deep. There is the ostium is okay. Let's go. 16. 18. 18. 20. 20. It's okay. Let's see, it's perfectly covered the ostium. Okay, that's it. See, quarter cinco high pressure, 4.5 high pressure balloon. We are going to use very careful to retrieve the balloon now. I think the luminous looks nice now. Five is ready. Okay, so here we can discuss whether to retrieve the wire now and then doing pot or the other way around. Probably will pull it now. So I am sure I'm gonna protect the cell then. So let's go to the spider view, give me the pin. So Dr. Andres is checking for question online. So if you have some, please uh, 
let me know. So I am pulling the left uh, circumflex wire. Hopefully I can engage the circ soon. Not spend too much time on this. Problem is I'm not perfectly engaged on the on the left main, trying not to damage the stent test Gustavo. Okay. Probably I will need a little better curve. Now I think I am there. Uh, let's rotate. Not too much. So remember that we have some kind of uh, dilatation there. I think nothing is going to happen with the circ, so I'm not going to waste too, too much time there. I can use the Okay, perfect. I think I am on the marginal branch, but it's okay. Let's go with with the 4.5. Yeah. I think this is the case, uh, and I would like uh, to ask Gustavo, we don't need to, it's not mandatory to do kissing because I think we are not uh, into the uh, left circumflex ostium. What do you think? I think so. Uh... When it's very easy to go. Okay. Let me check. Let me check with Tom that we are not too far. There is okay. okay. Let's go. Uh when you don't you don't cover uh 12, 12, 14. Yes, 15, oh, 16. 15. Okay. The balloon is you a little need... bit longer than uh, than necessary, but this is the okay. The 4.5 we have. You know, sometimes you have to deal with some limitation. This is yeah. important of uh, 360. You 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 are seeing real life cases in different countries, different situations mm -hmm. where not everything is possible. Like in a live case of a meeting where everything is possible because it's a real situation. This is real. As I told you before, I cannot use a second balloon for a little tripsy in the middle segment of the LAD. Yes. So these yeah. are not sponsored cases. So I think we 100. have a very nice outcome. Yeah. We can uh, see with IBUS. And according to the time, will you flash, Gustavo? Yeah. Thank you. Andres, no question behind? Uh, I think that uh, this is very important to remark that it's very uh, necessary debulking, uh, okay. debulking case uh, because the maze is quite different when you perform a good debulking and controlled by ultra ultrasound rather than you perform a, a single left main angioplasty. And so okay. something that we always emphasize that doing an IBUS or imaging guided PCI. Uh, could you put the IBUS, please? Well, on the on the screen for the live transmission. Perhaps you, yeah. you can go further. Yeah. Can you go further? Going there? This ah, is this, this is the lady, yes. I'm... This is a proximal LED with a mild lift, a mild disease. This is uh, near the bifurcation. There's the stand at the left main. It's uh, well uh, ex uh, a position, perhaps uh, uh, in a little bit asymmetric. Asymmetric, yeah. yes, a bit expansion. We can observe, but it's something that we expect with this uh, huge calcification. Yes. I think we are not going to get a better outcome with the 5.0 balloon no compliant, we don't have five non-compliant. So it's gonna be a compliant balloon. So here the area is probably bigger than 12. Mm -hmm. So the clinical uh, maze well, you know, is 10. 10. Okay, probably we can uh, go a little bit. We can inflate again, a higher pressure with the 4.5. Okay. Let's go uh, 20 atmospheres of something like this. Okay. Once again, 
And after that, I will continue with the LAD because uh, there is not anything else uh, to be done there because all the plug modification and everything we could do, uh, we did it. So the balloon is a little bit bulky now. That's why I chose the seven French guiding. For sure, it's going to be a nightmare to advance this balloon in a six French guiding. Not that easy to cross. We are not well aligned because I am out. It's a little bit distally because there is also some under expansion of the distal end of the stem. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Twelve. Twelve. Is that okay? And then we'll pull back and you, and let's Oops. deflate. Yeah. Then we go to there. I think there is the position where we are in the stand. Let's go. And now, 12, let's go. 16, 16, 18, yes, 20, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six is okay. Okay, grabalo. Okay, so blood pressure is going down a little bit. So patient has been very kind with us for all these maneuver we have done so far. Let's uh, prepare the 2.5 balloon to pre-dilate the LAD. Franco. Uh, no, let's go with a regular balloon and we'll see. If we can uh, avoid the cutting, we will do it without the cutting. Okay. I think it's much better yeah. now. It's okay. Yes. Let's go to the the, 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 the the cranial view. Two point five by twenty. We are. Uh, excuse me. Give me another wire, please. Una otra BM. Yeah. I think this is not, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that, that's a very good question. Uh, um, I'm, we will try to, if uh, we don't have to use the, the, the device for other lesion, we, we always use all the, the, the poles, the, the AT. So to be sure, we are producing a good cracking of the of the calcium, especially in this case, as you observe, something else was necessary to be done because it was too big or too thick. This is the right word to be used in this situation. And we have to use something, I mean, uh, additional, trying to uh, fracture the the, the mm -hmm deep calcium. Remember that the intravascular lithotripsy is the test, Gustavo? Is the device, uh, let's go to the, the better view. I think it's the, uh, okay, perfect. Uh, I think, uh, remember that lithotripsy is the device who, which is going deep, deeper. It's like three to seven millimeter depth. Uh, so it's probably the, the ones who more modify the plugs. So this is the diagonal. This is very small diagonal. No way to put a stand there. The rest of the rate is going to be very high. Probably a little bit more cranial. OK, perfect. We are going to use a 2.5 long stand and then probably an additional uh, 3.0, 2.72, 75, sorry. Let's go, Gustavo. One, two, four, five, centralize the image, please. We are not going to. Okay, perfect. Deflate. Eight. Okay. 
So as we did a very, let's go, a very complex procedure on the left main. Eight. We are trying to do as simple as we can, okay? The well. plate, as simple as we can here on the LAD. Once again. Well. Yeah. Perfect. My balloons are expanding very well. Okay. So give me the 275 by 40. Eh, espera un segundo que hago test. Okay, we have still 10 minutes. Perfect. Let, let, let me the 275 by uh, 40. Spasm. Okay, this is spasm of the distal segment. Yeah. The distal segment has spasm. Yes. We are going to use nitro here. We have the nitro. Can be also some kind of plaque disruption, no? It's Perhaps. In a such yes. a calcified lesion, we will see if uh, it still remain yes. there, we are going to put a stand yes. and to crash against the wall. So this is a very long of zero, very uh, good. I mean, the, the leadability of the stand, we are going distal to save some room to put a 3.0 approximately. So probably there is okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, 16. 16, the wire is inside. Yeah. The diagonal. It's okay. Okay. Deflate. We will pull the wire very carefully, very gently, being very careful. I am retrieving the guiding, just trying not to produce any damage to the proximal stand on the, on the often of the left main. Let's see. We have a very nice uh, outcome there. So we will pull this uh, balloon. The calcium uh, thickness of uh, this patient was more than, than uh, yeah. No reason. No reason. Okay, that's great. I agree with that. I think I, now I have to pull the wire, to, uh, release here. So I pull the guiding first, just not to produce any damage to the proximal left main. You see, I have some resistance, of course. Very gently. Now I am. I out, sorry. And now I can put the torque again. You want to see the diagonal or just cross it? Uh, maybe we can, okay, we can check it and then yeah. we will see if it's necessary to recross in case of it is difficult, it's difficult. Well, we have some no reflow there. You can also check the ACT. Uh, give me some heparin, additional yeah. heparin. Heparina. So we have done full dose of heparin, less than one hour, but anyway, he's a big guy. So I think this diagonal was not on my plan from the very beginning. I, that's fine. Sorry, I was rushing. Okay. Give it some nitro and heparin. Yeah. And so on. This is the diagonal. And injected? Yeah. Perfect. Let's go with the proximal stand. Uh, I need nitro. Three point oh by by twelve or fifteen. Three point zero por dos por quince. Three point zero. La presión es muy importante, Jaime. Let's go with the stand. Okay. Yes. With a with a balloon or the stand. Okay. 
we have to overlap uh, on the proximal part of the okay uh, yeah, shorter uh, 12 13 13 okay 13 is okay I think everything is okay better. We have a better flow now on the LAD diagonal is uh, patent. So we will put the proximal stand because we haven't covered all the plaque there. We will use the stem booth here. And then I will post dilate this. Uh, uh, this then with the 3.0 and, and then I will do the final I will, if it, okay. everything is okay. Perhaps what we saw is a clot inside the vessel. Maybe. Uh, I have some problem here. The twisted uh, wire? The twisted wires, but let me go with the 2.0 and the 2.0 or 2.5 balloon. Okay. At the end of the procedure, we will uh, dilate the ocean of the left main again. Dale, Franco. Uh, few minutes. Okay, we can mm -hmm. consume. Uh, so, first, okay. we are sure this is the LED wire. Probably we move some strat there. Yeah, probably we have something wrong with the wires there. Let me pull this wire for, give me a 2.5, but no nuevo. Yeah, and, no one. Okay, 2.5 N. O dos cero cualquiera. Okay. Here we can also observe how much time consuming is a complex PCI in comparison with some structural cases. So my intention here is to be sure we don't have twisting wires. In case is that, I will pull the wire and then start again. Yeah, no, perhaps there's something wrong there. Probably, yes. I will pull the wire from the diagonal. Diagonal. Let's uh, leave it there. Okay. Without the wire. No. Probably we have something there. Uh, we can cause some damage with the guiding while pulling. So now we inflate the balloon. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight, yes, yes. Ten, yes. Inflate. Okay. Let me go to the right view in the oblique derecha. So this is something that, could you increase the fluoro? Something that we try to prevent when we discuss about doing first the left main, probably we have some strat there, disturbing to cross it. Dame uno puntos. In flying, dame uno punto cinco balón. Okay, deflate. Would be another possibility to recross the stem no, with no, another no. wire. No, 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 because no? we can be out of the strat if we go with another wire. Let me go with the open one, open five. something that I did not expect being so careful I was during the whole procedure trying not to touch in the stent. Okay. 
Okay, let me see. With... Can we see an STEM boost there? Or if we can see something new. Okay. Everything looks okay. I don't know why. Probably one protruding strat is disturbing my position. It's important not to lose the wire position uh -huh. to change the guiding position. I, I change the plate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will try 12, to 14. Okay, the flake. Let's go again with the 2.0 inflate. So what I did here, it was to counter clock rotation of the guiding retrieves to mm -hmm. orientate a little bit better and try not to touch the inferior part of the stand because there is not any distortion of the stand. I think it's a, it's a kind of uh, alignment perhaps of the guiding and, and the devices which are entering. So I will try to do once again, if I can, with a bigger balloon, just in case. Well, this is an additional tip of this case and something to be always very careful. We will pull the guiding Inflate value of so 20 atmospheres. 20. Okay, perfect. This is 2.0. Yeah. Okay, this is okay. Deflate. I think I think it's much better. We will try with the stand now. If not, we will put a, a balloon and then probably a guide extension inside the stand so to prevent any kind of uh, movements. Hopefully we will be lucky with this maneuver. Not, not lucky enough. Let me move. No. Okay. Give me a, th a Godzilla. Okay, perfect. I will put the guide extension uh, over the 3.0 ba uh, balloon. Uh, I un 3.0 n. Okay. Give me this. Okay. We will consume probably 15 additional minutes of uh, the next cave. But anyway, after our crossing stand, it's just to finish the case with IBUS and so on. Digitally, the, probably Gustavo can finish uh, well, offline and I uh, cross to the other room. Give me the 3.0 balloon. This is the NET main controls. Yeah. You have plenty of time. We will extend your stuff. Okay, okay. Thank you, Daniel. Daniel is trying to relax me, not yeah. to hurry. Thank you for all the technicians, all the secretaries, and many other people working for this uh, kind of live procedures, which are not that easy. Let me go with the balloon. Now the 3.0 again is difficult. There is protruding a strut there. some reason I cannot, I don't want to lose the position. It's gonna be kind of difficult situation in flight there. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five. Deflate, okay, inflate. No, sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. There. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, five. Six, seven, eight. Yes. 20. Eight. 20. Okay, deflate. 
you see. Yeah, please save this maneuver. It's extremely important what I have done to get to get rid of, of this difficult to advance uh, the devices on the ostium. I think it probably was the most important thing I, I did in this uh, case. All the other thing I quite routine except for the light the trips here and the cutting additional to the left main. All the other procedure I am doing are just conventional. So now we have the kind of extension there. This is a telescope from Metronic. Let me show you the entrance there. Perfect. Here we have to be very careful on the entrance of the stand inside the guide extension there. I am in and now it's very easy to cross. And now we are going um, to the cranial view. Something that I have not to do is to pull the guide extension uh, out of the stand. There. Let me go there, put a stand boost. Please move fast. Could you put 3D so people can see the stem boost, please, Daniel? Sorry. I'm seeing. So I think I am okay there. Perfect. Yes, you're inside. Let's go, Gustavo. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Twenty. Twenty. Deflate. Let's uh, inflate a little bit digitally here. One, two, three, four, five, six, ten. Ten. Twelve. Twelve. Eighteen. Yes. Okay, deflate. One, two, three, four. Yes. Five, six. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Okay. So we will do I was here with the guide, with the guide extension there. And then I will uh, advance the, the 4.5 balloon and to post dilate the proximal or the ostial part of the stent just in case some strat was distorted. Okay. Let's go with some nitro, because we are a little bit deep in on the vessel. Have some no reflow there. Yes. Once again, some spasm. So we have to go fast with the IWUS, if not, the other uh, situation would be to post dilate the ostium and then doing the final I was uh, by Gustavo. So I will go as fast as I can. This is, as you can observe, a very complex patient with many issues to deal with. Let's go with the IBUS. Yes, yes, please, fast. Okay, this is the distal vessel. <laughs> no, 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 live. Pull back. Pull back. I will speed up. I think it's okay, a little bit under expanded there. Yes. And there. Mm -hmm. So yeah. a 2.5, the, the alta presión, por favor. This is proximally to the diagonal, which is okay. Very well expanded, very well uh, positioned to the to the, 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 the right extension to the vessel wall. So I will post the late distally, and then the proximal ostium, and I am done. And Gustavo gonna do the I was uh, finally I was final I was if it is possible. If not, we are done. Okay. It's uh, two point five pressure. Yes. Uh, give me the 3.5 high pressure. Sorry, sorry, 3.0, 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3
Sorry, sorry, sorry. Please move fast. Mm -hmm. Because I had to retrieve the, the guide extension. I think it's producing some ischemia. Probably the, at the beginning, somebody thought that it's not was such a complex patient. We we are we were aware of that, and that's why we prepare everything, and we discuss with him about this procedure. So send boost there. PD again. Okay, this is okay. Let's go, Gustavo. One, two, three, four, five. Six, it's okay. Twenty. Twenty. It's okay. Enough, 20. enough. Buscame el 4.5. One more here. Yeah. One, three, four, twenty. 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 Okay, that's it. See. I don't want to lose this position with the guide extension because this is extremely important to cross with the bigger balloon. If not, it's something that we are not going to be able to do it. Let's go with the 4.0, 4.5, sorry. Uh, Franco, please aspirate. I will reshape a little bit. Okay. Hold it, Gustavo. Sorry. Not losing the position. The, I mean, the profile of the balloon, of course, is not as good as I would like mm -hmm. to have it. No, it's not going to go. 4.9, 4.5 o 4.0 N. Let's go. Sorry. Wait, 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 Gustavo, wait, please. Sorry. Okay. So any additional comment, question? Uh, from the audience online, please check it. I think it's has been a very challenging case. Okay, no questions so far. So now we are in, in, the, in the right position. I will pull the balloon a little bit, so I'm sure and into the stand and we play it again. Let's go, Tau. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. 16. 16. Okay. Perfect. That's it. Okay. Okay. Perhaps My guiding maybe. is approaching the stand, but with the protection of the inflated balloon. So now you can observe how easily the guiding is moving into the stand. I think we need the. Hopefully. Yeah. Everything is okay. We need, we need nitro. We might need some nitro because we were working too hard, too many inflations. Give me nitro. Yeah. Le podemos subir la presión, Jaime? Well, uh, you know, the restenosis rate would be really high. And this is the reason why we try to optimize everything, not only the left main, but also the LAD. I mean, have you done some bolus, please, of norepinephrine? Yeah. Some nitro. Okay. Now the flow is much better. Yes. It's just a matter of time. 
perhaps we are uh, the risk of stent thrombosis and restenosis. I think it looks really beautiful. Yes, it's better. I so don't let's know go to the right. If there is a filling defect at the probably is the, some plug embolization there, yes. but it's too distally something difficult to do. Something let go to la oblicua derecha. Okay. Yeah, there is probably some plug embolization there. Uh, maybe we can move it with the balloon if it is easy to go distally because it's not gonna. It's not, let me want a uh, small balloon, 3.0. Okay, el 3.0. Uh, do you think that in these cases, 2B3A would, will be helpful? Yeah, it's a good question. Uh, I think yes, but. Uh, uh, also, probably no, because in my opinion, this is a calcium or plaque embolization, mm -hmm. not, uh, I mean, it's not the thrombus. So, okay. and uh, 2B3A are not available here in Argentina anymore. So, okay. it's the limitation again. And thrombus aspiration? The thrombus or aspiration, plaque aspiration would be an option. Yes, you are right. But here, with so many stents mm -hmm. and many things uh, to cross with these devices, there, I think it could be very dangerous. But mm -hmm. now, you see how uh, as, uh, easily the balloon crossed the stent of the proximal LED. So we have to pull the wire and to wait for a lead for some minutes. Uh, to recovery. Yes, yes, you're right. Yes. Flow is not perfect, but I think it's, it's okay. It's quite better. So I think the case is done. It's extremely complex. I think we reached a very nice uh, um, angiographic and also IBUS outcome. So Gustavo is going to close with the A French angio seal here. And I'm moving to the other lab. Thank you.